So this one's just going to be a really quick video. This is going to be talking about what we are seeing now with AMC, because I know that the price of AMC has got a lot of people concerned. And you know what guys, you already know I am not a financial advisor, but I do have some thoughts on this based on what we have seen with previous uh, squeezes and previous stocks as well. But before we do enter, it is obviously important for me to disclose that I am not a financial advisor, this is not financial advice, and it is not guaranteed to be the same way. All different squeezers have different fundamentals, they have different things which affect them, and there's so much different between them, you know, it's not guaranteed to follow the exact same path, but I do think it is a little something which is interesting, which you may want to know. So let's just jump into the video now and look at AMC and what we have been seeing and we're going to start off obviously quickly just highlighting the charts. Now if you do want to see a bit more of a detailed version of this, we have done that just a few uh, moments ago. Let's have a look at the volume that has been traded today. We can see a volume figure according to Yahoo Finance of 220 million and that does appear to be a actually correct so that is good to see so about 220 million it is quite low for amc and there could be a lot of reasons to that my reason for that in my opinion is because a lot of people are not selling and most people are still holding the stock despite all of these attempts to you know distract people with other quote-unquote short squeeze stocks and all that kind of stuff i think it hasn't worked i think we are seeing a lot of interest continue to remain in this stock which is good if we do want to see a squeeze happen now, for this one, I'm going to refer back to that image which I speak about all the time on this channel because I think this is an important image. Now, this is not guaranteed to be the case. I'm sure you do already know that. But what we are seeing now, in my opinion, is this with AMC. Guys, nobody knows if a squeeze is going to happen. All we have is data. I think that the data does look promising. And if the data is promising, you know, if it does actually turn out to be the case, I think where we are right now is being this guy. Or at least we're in this guy's position. And most of us here have been holding for a long time. I've been holding for a few months. I know that many more have been holding since January. So fair enough, loads of people have been holding for a long time. And some people, mainly not the apes that we have seen for months, but actually some newer investors, if you will, to AMC, they're getting a bit disheartened because they bought the stock at 50 60 70 on the way up and now they're seeing the price drop down to where it is right now and they're thinking well i've lost all of my profits or i'm actually in the red right now and that is fair enough I, I do understand that it is an emotional thing but we need to look at the logic that we are seeing here if this stock is going to see a squeeze even if it was a squeeze to 200 and by the way guys you already know i think it's going to be much higher than 200 but let's just say just to downplay everything if it was to squeeze to 200 you would like 4x your money on where you are right now and you've got to ask yourself you know long term is it worth it and again i am not a financial advisor but i just think for, from where i'm standing it does look to have a decent chance and that's just what i believe so i think that a lot of people are becoming this guy right now i don't think that is necessary i think we are so close now it could happen at any time we already knew this shorts could cover shorts need to cover rather and shorts could cover you know today it could be happening right now but it isn't or it could be happening next month obviously we don't know when it is going to happen but it could happen at any time from now to the more long-term future but it is going to have to happen. The shorts can't really afford to keep losing this much money. It is stupid. They're losing billions of dollars per month, perhaps even billions of dollars per, per week, and we're even seeing sometimes that they're losing billions of dollars per day. At some point, that is not going to make sense anymore, and they're going to have to cover, I personally do believe. But yeah, that's what we see now with people in AMC becoming a bit, you know, intolerant, if you will, to where the share price is heading. Yes, it could break below the $40 range, but I do hope it does not, because let's look at the situation that we are in. This stock, you know, is going to see a little bit of a dip probably tomorrow, but we do want to keep this one above uh, the $40 range. And the reason why so many people are desperate to try and keep this stock at the $40 range into tomorrow is that we will have a lot of calls in the money. So just a few seconds ago, I looked on Stonko Tracker. We will do it together. We'll see what the data says. So right now we can obviously see that we have about 60,000 calls in the money. We've got 326,000 calls out of the money. And this is for tomorrow. 
We have puts in the money at 128,000 and out of the money at 304,000. So most puts are still out of the money. Fantastic. That's what we like to see. But obviously most calls are still out of the money as well. So we need to bring the price up hopefully to get more calls into the money because it will be better for us going forwards. Now the big day which people are looking forward to is next Friday. So next Friday we have the 18th of June. Why are people calling this a big day in general? It is because of this data down here. So we've seen numbers down here of calls in the money 404,000 and puts and calls out of the money of 313,000. Now that's quite interesting, but where it gets a lot better is the amount of calls, uh, or the amount of puts rather, that are out of the money. We got almost half a million, in fact over half a million puts out of the money if we can keep this one at current levels into next Friday with only 54,000 puts still in the money. So that would be amazing obviously for the longs and that would potentially be a big thing going forward so we do want to keep this one at the current level if not even higher to get more calls in the money and more puts out of the money to help the cause for amc but that's what we are seeing today with the price of amc now one thing which i want to bring you guys attention to when it comes to stocks i'm going to start off with gamestop and then we're going to move over to volkswagen in just a few moments so obviously GameStop, it did see some momentum, uh, similar to AMC actually, before it saw that kind of squeeze, if you will. The price obviously rocketed, but we did see a little bit of a dip before, you know, it really did start to take off. Let's have a look over to Volkswagen back in 2008, where we saw a very, very similar thing. So let's just say, uh, let's just use this image here, which talks about GME, and this also does highlight how we saw the uh, increase, followed by the drop. But basically, Volkswagen, we obviously saw this big rise up, similar to what we are seeing now with AMC, actually. And again, people who bought in perhaps here, like us who bought at $10 or below, they will have probably thought fantastic. Some of them will have sold. And again, the price did drop quite significantly. It dropped to previous levels where it was around 200 before taking off. Now, obviously, it is important to say Volkswagen's situation was completely different. It was very, very fundamentally different to AMC. The short interest was different and everything. But you know, it is just another short interest. And this is what you guys do need to be mentally prepared for. And I will go back to that image which I mentioned of the guy digging for the diamonds. We could potentially be there right now you probably are going to see a bit more of a drop and if not we could see a little bit of growth tomorrow but i wouldn't expect too much in my opinion that's not a bad thing and by no means am i hating an amc i think this one probably is going to the moon but i think we also need to understand how long it may take and we all need to be mentally prepared get ready to see red it doesn't really matter as long as we can keep this one above 40 and even if we can't keep this one above 40 guys as, lo as long as we are buying this one and holding it it's gonna hurt those shorts every single day going forwards thank you for watching i'll see you soon goodbye